let us seek God to stir us to persistent united prayer. Isaiah 62, 6 through 7 says, I have posted watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest and give him no rest till he establishes Jerusalem and makes her the praise of the earth. You have changed the way we pray these days. We no longer merely ask for small bits of help for our problems. We're praying toward your promise. We're praying to, with our eyes open, watching your hand. We glimpse from afar the immense value of an entire city becoming a place of praise and honor to you. What you have promised is so precious and vast that we have resolved ourselves to never cease praying until it comes to be. Give us strength and steady vision that we may stick to our post as a watching people. Give us prayers, both large and small, that call forth your coming day of glory. Romans 12, 12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Let us be persistent in prayer in spite of the opposition, uniting together for a common purpose. That Christ would encourage us to pray with unrelenting confidence. They should always pray and not give up. Luke 18, 1. We have often given up. Summon us again to the labor of praying with empowered determination. Our resolve is not enough. Infuse us with your adamant, enduring faith. Train us in faith-filled prayer. Teach us to pray with a straightforward, uncomplicated style, simply praying that we know that you want. We will be as patient as we are passionate for your promises. Renew us to love what you love and to pursue with endurance the things which you desire. The second portion of James 5, 19 says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm.